Today we are going to do a very simplified version of the Adaptive Directional Movement Index. Our version will calculate the current value of the ADX. For each of the three lines the indicator will show. And that is the value you see if you hover with your mouse over the blue line here. Right now it is 27.09. That's the value you see here, and that's the calculated value we also will output on our chart. Now how can we create an expert advisor in MQL5 that is going to calculate the ADX value for us? To do that, please click on the little button here or press the F4 key. Now you should see the meta editor and here you want to click on File, New, Expert Advisor from Template, Continue, I will call it Simple ADX here, Continue, Continue and Finish. Now we want to delete everything above the onTick function and the two command lines here are also no longer needed. And the first thing we need is an array, so let's create an array for several prices. It will be a double array and it will have the name My Price Array. And now we are going to use the IADX function to create a definition for the current symbol on the chart and the currently selected period. And it will calculate the ADX value for 14 candles. Because when the ADX indicator was developed, in 1978, by J. Wallace Wilder, it was defined for 14 days. And if you click on Insert, Indicators, Trend, Average Directional Movement Index, you will also see the 14 candles here. And now we want to sort the price array from the current candle downwards by using Array Set as Series. For the price array we have created here, the function copy buffer will now fill our price array according to the ADX definition we have created in this line for one line, that's the zero here, for the current candle, that's the second zero, and we need the price data for three candles, that's the three here to store the result in our price array. To get the value of the current candle, we create a double variable with the name ADX value and we will use normalized double for two digits behind the dot. To get the value of candle zero, that's the current candle, in our price array. And here comes the chart output by using the command function we will output the text ADX value and the calculated value directly on our chart. Now that everything is done, please click on the compile button or press the F7 key on your keyboard and you should be able to compile your code without any errors and without any warnings. And if that did work for you, can click on the button here or press the F4 key to go back to MetaTrader. In MetaTrader, please click on View, Strategy Tester or press Ctrl and R. And now you should see the Strategy Tester panel and here you want to select the simple adx.ex5 file. Now let's start the test and here is our little expert advisor at work. Let's stop it and you see the first value here is 23.09 and that matches with the ADX value we have calculated here. Let's see if we also can get the second value here. So let's go back into Meta Editor and replace the zero here for the first line of the indicator with a one. Recompile the code and start another test. And now you will see the second value here. And if you want to get the third value, 
you simply have to replace the 1 with a 2, recompile the code and start again. And now the output here matches the third value of this indicator. OK, now you know how you can calculate the ADX value for each of the three lines of the Average Directional Movement Index and you have done it with a few lines of MQL5 code.